So it's been a very long time since my last Unreal Engine tutorial, so... Like, last time we just did materials and... Yeah, like I think it was reflective and transparent, so you can make windows and mirrors. Uh, today's gonna be a bit of a... A bit more complicated one. So as you can see, this is just a small little tile world I've made. With, uh, yes. These sprites are finally being put to use. But uh, I'll just guess I'll show you what it is first. So if I go into full screen mode using F11 right now, it's just a world. I can jump around. It's still a bit glitchy with the uh, stuff. I don't understand why. But yeah, I, I can move around and just do some cool stuff. It's nothing important. What I actually wanted to show you is if I hit uh, this key, I can't remember what it's called, uh, and I, I can actually use console commands. So I can see all this. And this isn't what I want to do. A custom console command I've done is CE toggle fly. And now I can fly around. Just like, you know, creative mode, I guess. I don't have an inventory or anything. Mostly because I haven't programmed that yet. But I can fly now. And uh, I guess I'll show you exactly how I did this. So if you want, guys want to make stuff in Unreal Engine, then go for it. Because uh, I, I, I guess I can use this to make console commands. And that's going to be cool. And uh, I can also go out of this by typing the exact same thing, CE toggle fly, and now I'm back to normal. So what do I do and how do I do this? So I guess the first thing I'll show you, I'll just close down everything here. So what you actually need to do, the, I actually did this in the level itself. So first of all, I'm just going to open uh, the player character because this, this is going to be, oh frick no. <laughs> Yeah, he's going to be important. He does have his own line of code, and I think that's important to show. But if I actually go into the level blueprint, uh, this is actually what I need. So, custom event. This is a custom event. Toggle fly. Uh, if you want to know how to make a custom event, by the way, you just right-click and you type custom event. And just hit add custom event. Name it whatever you want. I can call it walk boy. And hey... If I do CE walk boy, it will execute whatever is in this line of code right here. So what it does is it casts to the, to the current player in your game, which is Project HO1 player. Uh, and of course the object will have to be your player character. Uh, the, then it goes through a flip-flop right here, which is of course a toggle. So uh, it's he's defaultly walking, so when the flip-flop goes through, it will go through A. Uh, which actually goes to the movement mode. It sets your movement mode to flying. Uh, now, of course, these have to have a target of character movement to get this to work, but it goes through a movement mode of flying. And then it actually sets a variable for is flying, because uh, I'll get to this in a moment. And also th a thing here uh, is, again, if you hit the button again, it toggles fly off and goes through gate B to walking mode. So that's kind of all that's in here, but if I go into the character, I will show you uh, why I need uh, uh, B is moving up and is flying. Now, B, I never understood the B is moving right and B is moving up thing, that's just a thing with uh, slide scroll scroller templates. But uh, the is flying, uh, this is important. So, if I didn't have is flying, I would be able to move up and down all the time. And I have to go uh, across the Z axes because did I say Z? I'm sorry, Z axes because this controls whether you're going up or down. Because for whatever reason, Z is uh, up in um, this. I th I think I don't know why, but uh, yeah, up and down. Anyway, um, I would always be able to do this uh, without. A if statement here or a branch is what it's called uh, and the condition is is he flying if he's if flying is true then I'm allowed to move up and down if flying is false I cannot uh, and of course this is set uh, to true and false in the map thing here so uh, yeah that's uh, like movements I guess and in the character movement by the way for the flying states default land movement is walking default water movement is swimming I don't do the swimming thing, and I haven't got that set up. Um, everything else here you can customize, but flying, uh, I have braking deceleration set to this crazy high value, and that's so you immediately stop moving when you let go of the key, because otherwise you're going to have crazy ice effects, and you'll just slide all over the place. Like, I will show you right now. 
This is actually this was actually set to three hundred. I will show you what happens if this is set to three hundred. So we got we got my guy here. We're just gonna type C E toggle fly. This happens. I mean this is cool I guess, but I I can understand that it would annoy some people like at some point. So maybe maybe I'll make it a setting so it's like a uh, flight deceleration or something. You you'll be able to customize this or something. I don't know maybe. Yeah, you know what? I, I might be I might try and make that. I, I am learning more uh, console commands, but uh, yeah, I I can actually fly now and it it's cool and uh, yeah, this is just a brief way to kind of set up console commands. Doesn't it doesn't have to be um like it it doesn't have to be case sensitive. You can just type it however you like. I'll just do ce toggle fly again. I can now fly. And now if I move over here, CE toggle fly, and I'll stop flying. And there we go, guys, and that's how you do it. Uh, that's the way to do console commands. You can also do it like this. So uh, you, if you press it, if you press the thing multiple times, uh, like this key. Uh, well, you just, yeah, you just press the key multiple times. It, you'll find it on your keyboard. I don't know what the key is called. It, it's the one with the straight line. Uh, that's all I know. Um, but yeah, if you press that key twice in a row, you can open it like this. CE toggle fly. And uh, that will basically just... It'll, the command prompt will stay open at that point. So that's if you want to do multiple commands at once. But if you just want to do one command, only press the key once and just type whatever you want and hit enter. And there you go. So yeah, that's uh, console commands in Unreal Engine. Uh, I, I hope this helps you if you want to set up game development eventually.